how to create your YouTube thumbnail using Canva. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how easy it is to create a YouTube thumbnail using a free tool called Canva. Now, there's also a paid version. I use the free version, and you can get started using that also. Perhaps you've heard this, that if you want people to see your content, whether it's a video, just a social media post, you got to have a hook. And a hook can be a headline or an image. On YouTube, it's your thumbnail. And it's extremely easy to create using Canva. So let me head over to my computer and I'll show you how easy it is to use. So now I'm at my computer and I want to show you how easy it is to use Canva. Now, again, there's a free version and a paid version. I'm using the free version right now. And I'll show you different aspects of the paid version to see if that's something you're going to go to. I also have a paid version, but this again is the free version. So this is the home page. It is canva.com, sitting there right there, and it says I can create a design. And it down here it has all my designs, templates, photos, prints, all these different things. And some of these are in the paid version. But what I want to do is I want to go through and I'm just going to share with you how to make a YouTube thumbnail. Now, here are the, the different things. And a couple of these are brand new. You can make a t-shirt. I have no idea what that is. This is a YouTube video. You can actually put in YouTube videos. Perhaps you've seen them. They call them B-rolls. You can put a YouTube video at the end or in the, in, uh, the beginning of your your YouTube video, but I just want to share with you how to make a YouTube thumbnail today. You can also go to custom dimensions, but you can use social media, YouTube channel art. I also have a video out there that shows you how to do your YouTube channel art because it's really tricky and I show you the right uh, dimensions you need. Instagram posts, and these are some of my designs. Now, I just started that one today, but that one I didn't finish right now because I wanted to see what for uh, how the new out outgrow worked on my video so here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on YouTube thumbnail and here's what comes up you know here's what's going to happen now what I can do is what it has here is music thumbnail video I can use this I can use that one and you can see these are free now if I pick if I want to go see all now, if, if that's what I'm going to do is you can come come down here and all of a sudden you're going to see some that they're paid, that you have to pay for them. And all these are free now. I probably won't be able to find a paid one. Um, there's one of three. But you can use all those if you want, which means that if I click on it, that's what's coming up. And it, you can see this. That there's a, a remove watermark. See, that, that is a paid one. If you want this, you have to pay for that. Now, I don't want this. I'm just going to show you how to use something with, um, and of course, as soon as I do that, i got to click all of these out. I'm just going to make a really easy thumbnail. So what I do is I just go to, you know, I can go here. If I click on that, I can just put a background color of, of this that I want. And a lot of times I will, so I'll just put this blue. Now, I'm going to change things. Now, you can do a lot of different things here. So I'm just going to show you a free and easy way to make a thumbnail. I go over to Elements. And inside Elements, you can see that I, I use a lot of these a lot. And most of these are free. And again, guess what? They're going to charge you for some. I, I can pay for them outright. But if I click this, this is what shows up. And a lot of times, this is what I'll do. Is I'm going to make this over here I'm gonna make it bigger if I want an angle at it and I want that to cover uh, that much of my screen I want a different color so I click up on here and I want that now I can do a couple things here if those in this is just gonna be free and easy if I click on this you're gonna see some different things come up um, now I can position this one when I say position what it is is I can move that backward or forward. I can move it to the left, center, right. I can also make it what they call transparent. I can change the color, but I want that 100%. So 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and um, show you how I get my uploads. Now I have a lot of different images here. Okay, so if I get an image, some of these I've already taken. And what I've done, if you see this image, it's one of my selfies that I've taken. But it, it's called a transparent image. And by meaning the transparent image, the background's gone. There's another one that I use a lot. Um, now, let me, I'll show you where I use this to take the background off. I go to a website called remove.bg, and again, I use this for free. But I can upload an image, and if it's got to be on my computer, or it says drop a file, I'm just going to pull this one up. This is my wife and me, and I'll open it, and it's getting to there. There's the original, and what it does, it takes the background away. Okay, so what I can do is I can just download that right now and it goes on my computer. I can use that picture or I can also use another one. Now that's the first one. I'm gonna upload another image. Let me see if I can find another one. And maybe I won't find one very quick. I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, I'm gonna cancel out of that because you can use other images you can also, if I'm going to go back to the home page, now I, I use that. So if I go back to this home page, it says upload an image, but they also have other ones here. No image, it says try one of these. So if you have an, an animal, I was trying to look for uh, our pet, but I couldn't find him right away. And see, there's the cat. And it, what it did, it took that background away. So going back to Canva, here's my untitled design is I'm gonna go back and I use this image a lot and I can move Mark around here. This is just me and I can make him bigger and I generally do because you want to be popped out. You wanna see that. If you've seen my thumbnails, I use that picture a lot, but I do change them. Okay, so there's my thumbnail. Now what I need to do is put in a headline. Um, so I'm gonna to go to text and what happens, I'm gonna add a heading here it shows up right there, and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna just, uh, um, I'm gonna write Canva, oops. <laughs> or YouTube. thumbnail and I'm just put down here tutorial now I can split those up I can move this I'm gonna move that over there I can change the font this is open sans but I can change if I get over here I can change the font to something that um, all these different fonts I like to I happen to like this so I'm just gonna make it bigger and I'm gonna to go to 72 and see what happens. It kind of got me out of sight there. So I gotta go back, grab this and move it. And I'm just gonna change it and I want a color. So I'm gonna to go to black. Now, that is really simple. I'm gonna move that over. But what you want is when you are making a YouTube thumbnail, you want to pop. And when you see your analytics, you need to see that click-through rate, which means if you have a really low click-through rate, it's because your thumbnails aren't grabbing attention. So you need to make sure you have that grab attention. Now, I'm going to share this. It says can for YouTube thumbnail tutorial. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go download. It says PNG suggested, and that's what I want. So all I'm going to do, now I can do other things. See, I can do a JPEG. I can make a PDF, not for YouTube, and I can make a video. They just said that. That was for um, that YouTube video, if you saw that earlier. So I'm just going to go PNG. It's going to prepare it, and it downloads it to my computer. Now, what I do when I upload my videos, when I make a video, what happens is YouTube 
if when you get down the bottom, you're going to see three of those thumbnails that are taken from the video you made. And sometimes they catch you with your mouth wide open, or you might be looking goofy or whatnot. So I always use a thumbnail I make that. Now, how easy is that? Isn't that stinking easy to make your own YouTube thumbnail using Canva? So hey, I put some uh, links below, one for a video on how to make a YouTube channel banner, and it has a template you can use that you can download that I put up there. And uh, I have some other links for some free resources. Hope that helped. Make some great YouTube thumbnails and let me know what you think about this. Y'all take care. Bye.